choice of beating the odds and having a second chance. We've got another one coming up uh, 30 minutes from now, so you're going to want to stick around for that story. So many things to be thankful for. We're thankful for today's rain. It's not here yet, but uh, <laughs> Maybe the timing is just a little off. Yeah, the timing could be a little bit better. Unfortunately, uh, you know, everyone has you know travel plans and things like that going on today. And uh, unfortunately, the rain is uh, going to be giving us some issues mm -hmm. out there, some gusty winds as well. But I guess thankfully we can say the wintry side of the storm is across interior section so it's not going to be impacting us it's staying across pennsylvania new york and northern new england so for us it's just a plain old cold rain temperatures in the 40s for today and the rain continues to push through the tri-state area into southern new england so that's gonna be the theme for today steady rain continuing all day long into the afternoon and even the evening hours so some light rain out there right now some sprinkles and light showers nothing too bad gray skies here in providence you can see the, again the gloomy look outside and temperatures are actually a pretty wide range depending on where you are so if you're in smithfield you're looking at a temperature of about 36 degrees providence is uh, 45 and looking at newport 49 even some 50s popping up in westerly block island so again warmer at the coastline colder further north and west so and looking at again a chilly rain on tap for today and some of the rain can be moderate to heavy at times and gusty winds continuing as well. My three key things. That's the first one rainy today. Good shopping weather though for Black Friday. Drier looking at sunshine returning temperature staying in the 40s, but our pattern going forward the next several days and even next week or so looks to be more of the uh, wintry like pattern with uh, cold air in place across our area for the next several days. We'll see that my seven day forecast satellite and radar again low pressure to the south and west of us seeing this low tracking north and eastward bringing us the rain keeping the snow and the cold air to the north of us across the interior northeast. So again, we're looking at just plain old rain for today. And again, some of it can be moderate to heavy at times. Looking about a half an inch to an inch of rain when all is said and done. We can time it all out for the rest of today, seeing the rain through the entire day. Not going to be getting through us until about 4 or 5 o'clock this afternoon, seeing some leftover showers. See this counterclockwise swirl here on the map? That's the center of the low pressure. So that's where the red L is on the screen. Uh, it's moving through our area later on this afternoon. And that's why we're looking at the snow staying to the north and west of us, because the cold air is locked up here because the track of the storm is inland. If this was, say, 50, 100 miles to the south and east, well, we'd be dragging in the cold air and dragging the snow down to the coastline. That's not the case, of course, because we're looking at rain for today. But uh, just, you know, kind of a, you know, incredible how just a short distance in terms of the atmosphere makes a huge difference in terms of the precip. Then as we go into Friday, looking at sunshine, by the way, quiet weather taking us into the weekend. Now looking at any weather concerns Friday, Saturday and Sunday, perhaps early Friday morning, though, we could see some patchy black ice. Be mindful of that on the roadways if you are traveling for any shopping in the morning hours. Let's talk about the rainfall we're looking at for today. Generally speaking, I'm thinking about a half an inch to an inch of rain. I know you're seeing this map and it's looking a little bit less than that. Uh, I do think that uh, this is a little bit lower than what we're expecting because most of the consensus of the models that we've been looking at are in that half inch range to an inch range. We'll be watching this trend closely to see if the models kind of play catch up and adjust the uh, rainfall totals, but still it's all beneficial. We'll take any rain that we can get with the uh, drought in mind. Now Thanksgiving's forecast looking gray, gloomy, steady rain continuing temperatures in the 40s. Overnight tonight we dry things out, clear the skies and we can get temperatures back into the 30s for early tomorrow morning. Watch out for some patchy black ice for your Friday morning. Otherwise looking at sunshine and temperatures reaching the middle 40s once again. If you are traveling by car next few days, Here's a local look at your forecast. You can see relatively quiet for Friday and Saturday. Temperatures both days in the 40s. Seven day forecast for you. We're going to keep that cold theme continuing across the area. Seeing the sunshine though. Temperatures on Sunday upper 30s and that stays into next week. Perhaps some flurries by Wednesday. Overnight lows chilly. Very cold in the uh, low to mid 20s. Full seven day forecast as always on our website at WPRI.com.